एवरीवन वेरी वॉम वेलकम टू डब्ल्यू एस क्यूब टेक सो गाइज इन आर प्रीवियस सेशन वी हैव कवर्ड वॉट आर थ्री डी प्लॉट्स इन आर मैट प्लॉट लिप इन आर डे सेशन वी विल बी लर्निंग दट वी क्रिएट ऑल दीज फाइल्स इन आर मैट प्लॉट लिप राइट एंड वॉट वी नीड टू डू वी नीड टू सेव दम और यूज दम वी वॉन्ट टू यूज दम इन आर प्रेजेंटेशन और वेर एवर वी वॉन्ट टू यूज दम इन दट केस इफ यू वॉन्ट टू सेव दीज फाइल्स इन आर लैपटॉप दैन फॉर दैट वी हैव अ मेथड ओवर हियर इन आर मैट प्लॉट लिप इट सेल्फ दैट वी कैन सेव अ फाइल वी कैन सेव अ चार्ट इट सेल्फ नॉट विद द कोड विद द चार्ट इट सेल्फ इन आर laptop let's have a look on how it can be done to save a chart first of all we need to create a chart over here so i guess uh, after the completion of this course we have learned all the kinds of charts and you are able to create a chart now once we have created a chart over here what we need to do we need to write plt dot save figure we need to save the figure and where do we need to save this figure we will be defining the location if you will not define the location over here this will get saved with all your other programs that are there in your jupiter or anaconda okay so here what uh, here what we'll be doing we will be getting the location for that i have already created a folder over here so on my desktop i have a folder called as charts we can get its location i'll just copy the location from here go back to my code and paste this location here uh, all we need to do is we need to convert these backward slashes to the forward slashes so let's convert these backward slashes to the forward slashes once we have converted them to the forward slashes we can give the name to this chart so let's say it's a back to back bar chart right so i'll be writing uh, b t b bar dot png so i'll be saving it as a png file over here you can give any format over here if you want it in a pdf format you can get it in the pdf format as well so as of now i just want it in a png format so as soon as i'll run it nothing would happen over here but when i go back and you can see over here a png file has been created in our charts let's double click and open it So as soon as I double click and open it, you can see there is a file which basically looks like this. So we have a chart over here. We can use it wherever we want. If you want to apply any other functions over here, for example, I'll just come back to, for example, I'll just come back over here, and I'll want to apply some other functions as well. For example, I want a padding. You can see right now it is tightly packed, and if you want a little padding, so for that we will be applying a function here that will be known as pad inches, and you can give how many inches you want, um, how many inches you want for the padding. So I want one point. 5 inches padding as soon as i run it so nothing would happen over here so i'll go back over here and double click and open it so it would look like this uh, talking about the background that what kind of background you want if you want a transparent background what kind of background you want you can apply the background as well similarly we have another chart over here and if uh, for this also i'll be doing the same thing that i'll be writing save plt dot save figure and here again i'll be passing the same location but this time i'll be giving it another name So I'll just copy the data, paste it over here. Let's put it inside the double quotations as well, and let's give it a name. So I'm giving it a name as it's a pie chart. So, um, but it's based on popularity of different cell phones. So I'll be giving it as smartphone dot PDF. Okay, let's open. Let's create a PDF file from this. So as soon as I run it, nothing would happen over here. But let's go back over here. So as soon as we double click over here, you can see we have a PDF format of this file. So we have received this in a format of a PDF as well. So you, whatever you want, you can create from here. You can download it. So it will get downloaded in your laptop in the format of a PDF file. So this is how you can download a PNG file or a PDF file. There are other functions as well. Suppose right now, if you want that, uh, you can see there there are some spaces over here, and if you want it to be tightly packed, for that we have a function here. that i'll put a i'll just put a comma here and write b box inches is equals to tight and as soon as i run it nothing would happen over here but let's just close it let's go back here let's open it now you can see it's uh, it's a bit tightly packed so previously there was a padding but now it is tightly packed also one more thing you can see right now the background is of white color if you want a background of a transparent color for that also we have a method so what we can do we'll just go put a comma over here and we'll write transparent is equals to it takes the values in boolean so we'll be writing transparent is equals to true that means we want a transparent background now let's run it let's go back and let's double click here so we'll get a one uh, over here obviously it's a pdf file so right now it looks like that there is no transparent background but if in png it would look like a transparent background over here So guys these were some small functions which were associated with saving the figure i hope you have no doubts in the question so here we are completing our matplotlib like the whole course on matplotlib has been completed today and from our next session we are going to start with a completely new library that is called as cborn cborn is also a library which is used for data visualization so it it is based on matplotlib so we'll be discussing further that what all things are there in our cborn so stay connected guys and i'll see you in the next session thank you